Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kingdom of Steel channel. Today we're going to take a look at 1st Airborne Division being played by Ciro on a Maverick Income and our opponent will be Joris Bonson playing 17 SS Spencer Grenadier on a Balance Income. Uh, the deployments are regular so let's just jump in straight to the game and here we are it has started with some SPW2-3-3 from the 17 SS players, some of Clara over here with Ciro, the first airborne. There's going to be some Forceman, Scouts, Prince, a lot of path, uh, some Pathfinders, a lot of AB, no, not a lot, just one, AB Paris, M1 Guns, the usual, you know, and there's also going to be some Mortar 60 mil over here in the north with an M1 gun. 60 mil will already start shooting there. Very good decision. AB leaders coming in with the Pathfinders, Glider, Rifle, and AB demolition groups are ready in phase A. Over here we have uh, a M2 HB heavy machine gun gonna take place in these lands, but there is no machine gun coming in there. The opponent here in blue decided to focus on the middle, which can be a good tactic because usually it is just a uh, machine gun battle over here. One truck down, died from the uh, SPW-233. Six pounder being shot at by the Panzergrenadier, but the Paris with their sniper will now take care of that. Now in the game, every AB Paris will have a sniper with them. So it makes them pretty dangerous. By the way, the intro we looked at was made by player Drario, so thank you for that. I think it was, um, he shared that in the kingdom and I think it was cool, so I figured I would use it for the intro today. Um, if you want to see more of Drario, please let me know and I'll give him the message. Demolition group 3 star has no difficulty. Oh wait, they don't have, who has? Oh, the glider rifles has the bazooka. I thought the demolition group had flamers and bazooka, so they changed it a little bit. It's a light infantry engineer squad now. <coughs> Don't know why he would put a lead, uh, recon here, but he did. It's, uh, it's a confusing moment. Both players are noobs, by the way. Ciro, well, Ciro is pretty good. He is a yeoman um, in the Kingdom of Steel, which means he's won a fair bit amount of battles. In the kingdom of um, in our clan, basically. But I think you know what? I think he's supposed to be higher up, unless I'm thinking of someone else. Um, no, no, no. That's I was thinking of someone else. Anyway, <coughs> well, they're not completely noobs. I'm just saying um, they're not the top one percent player. You know, so this is why we saw the uh, we see the the recon here. Uh, the pathfinders are pretty good though for. Um, in the forest, seeing as they got flames, uh, seven Lee infield, and tree stand. Six pounders in the open. Very good opening here, actually, from Ciro. These uh, scoutmen has some snipers as well. Uh, very good use of the 60 mil mortars on these Panzer Grenadier. One star, by the way, they are. So it, it seems like George Bonson has a good concept of the game. Um, you cannot go into battle with unvetted infantry and well especially not the uh pentagon idea because they aren't that good and they're even less good <laughs> now that the new patch has arrived because uh, these guys are just insane the new allied division infantry are just completely bonkers they are quite expensive though but this one is 25 points they do 1.5 damage just with their carbines whereas the pentagon idea are 30 points and they do 0.7 damage. They do, however, have two MG42. And so at range, they will do 1.2 damage. So that's 1.9 damage for 30 points at 750 meters. Whereas, um, say, the glider rifles... Glider rifles will actually do two damage. So that's uh, more than the Panzer Grenadier, and they cost less. Plus, they have a bazooka. I really think the devs should reconsider the Panzer Grenadier price. And I will actually bring that up on Reddit. Although, I don't think the dev usually listens or hear us if we're not in the strike team. But it seems like the new divisions that are coming, 
they uh, put to shame the Panzer Grenadier. But listen, the Demolition Group don't have any machine gun. So at 25 points, I'd say it's warranted. Uh, but they do have explosive. They do one damage in, um, in CQC, and they do have some smoke. So maybe they should be 30 points, seeing as a Panzer Grenadier's got none of this and cost 30 points. Um, they do have the machine gun, though, but, you know, then again, we've watched... Uh, who was that? I think it was the Pathfinders. No, the um. Anyway, anyway, the prices they need to. I think they seriously need to revisit the price of Pentagon idea. They Pentagon ideas are very costly, and they don't do that much damage compared to some same price units. But, you know, at a 2-star, 3-star, they are extremely effective. We're not going to take that away from them. The Machine Gun 42 that they hold, is um, it does a lot of suppression. It does a lot. Like it, it, 40 suppression, that's, a, well, it's 20 each. It's as much as one Maxim Machine Gun. IG-33 around here will be able, will have to fall back against these two. Pioneer will engage the heavy machine gun. Not a very good idea here. SPW would should have come around here. Uh, obviously, there's no anti-tank covering the road or else this uh, machine gun would be dead. Light infantry engineer coming in. They will take care of that Pioneers now that it's pinned down. They would have taken care of it just by themselves, honestly, though. But, uh, yeah. SS Legionnaire are going to be... Stuck here in the forest. It is now 1410 for Ciro. There's another IG-33 coming in. I don't think that's the right option, but then there's another one coming in. This guy definitely needs some mortars to take out these. If his goal, and it looks like that's his goal with the two IG-33 coming in here, is to take care of these machine gun. Definitely needs a mortar. Shoot the mortar a little bit here, and then when they're heavily suppressed, bring that IG, and then shoot manually target and then shoot here that's what's going to take care of these two machine gun another ig 33 will probably not do any good at this point or even you do have a spw here uh you know shoot, just move it here come in here m1 gun will start climbing its way through the forest he's gonna come here and probably take position right here Take a look down the road. There's an IG-33. There's a Stug-4 uh, SPW. These are good choice to make because now that the enemy has the forest, you have to build a defensive line all around here. So probably put that IG-33 uh, somewhere it can see here. So probably here would have been a good idea. Like take care, take advantage of its 2K range and put it right here. So it, he can shoot all here and he can shoot all here. Although I see that... Bunsen has actually control over here, so maybe that IG-33 could 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 allow itself to go just here. And then you bring that Stug over here, you bring that I SPW recon here, and then you bring a machine gun around here so that you can shoot, and then you bring your infantry. So he needs to build up a little bit more and then be aggressive and uh, take this for us before it's too late. It looks like it's going to be too late around here. Um... Is only shot. He's targeting directly that. Oh, there's another one shooting there. And the pack 40. Alright, alright. But this guy's getting suppressed real fast. There's only one machine gun shooting. There we go. This one is suppressed. One dies. Pack 40 will finish that MG42. He did take care of the MG42s, but in really expensive and inefficient ways. Although none of them died, so there is that. 59 for Ciro, though. As Ciro is just building up his troops more and more. He will come in here, engage the Panzer Grenadier. Will the Panzer Grenadier win? They, they do have two machine guns. Demolition Group only has M1 Carbine, so technically they should. And they do cost the same point. No, the Panzer Grenadier is more expensive, but there you go. Panzer Grenadier only has half suppression, and the Demolition Group is about to die, even though they are two-star. And so, in that case, you know, this is where you gotta use the Panzer Grenadier. It is in the open, so they can use their machine gun. Uh, maybe that warrants the price. 
Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. I'm just a player. I just want to see my pens are gonna do uh, fall price. I I use the uh, well. I use half an hour. But I tend to use the German more, especially in rank. Flag 36, pinned down by the 60 mil mortar. Some howitzers coming in. More howitzers around here. More mortars. A lot of uh, artillery. And there is none. There's only one piece here. It's going to target that howitzers. But as soon as the other howitzers start shooting it, it's going to be bad. There is a lot of radio for the allies here. And there's also a recon plane that's going to be able to check what's in. Although there is some Flight 36. Over here was never built up. Oh, there you go. Some Panzergan idea coming in. Hopefully, uh, he's not going to unload here. Because he's going to have... Uh... No, he's not going to have any surprise, actually. And that recon is is not actually looking. So, it it's to wonder what Ciro's see. And we'll go take a look. He sees nothing, actually. Ciro sees nothing because he's not using his pathfinders. Uh, which is a mistake. Definitely a mistake because he, he would have been able to see that build up. Uh, M1 gun over here. Uh, I think he's looking for close range engagement. Legionaries will have to go away from these powers. How Wither almost died from first round. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff there. Really accurate. There's another um, 105 mil. Coming in, keep your eye here on the Howitzers. Make sure uh, if he dies, there's another round falling close. And and he dies. Wow, really nice from the 105 mil. Um, actually, I'm surprised. I thought the Howitzers will have the advantage there. Um, okay, hi G. Oh, sorry for the camera. Sometimes my mouse is old, so it moves by itself somehow. There we go. We have mortars aiming at that legionary. No, they're aiming at the IG-33. Good choice. Better choice. A little bit on the side though. Unfortunately, they suffered from their accuracy, but it still got the job done. I uh, removed one health, and then now this this is gonna this is gonna kill it. You know, honestly, I'm not sure if Ciro should concentrate on these IG because. Unless you plan on pushing in the open, the IG-33s around here are absolutely useless. It's kind of a waste of ammo. Anyway, the Spencer Gunnadier <laughs> ended up here. That that that, that guy's coming in here. There's there's really there's a need for anti-tank gun here or here. Um, Ciro is not making use of that at all with that anti-tank gun here. He could at least you know put it up here, but here is a very good place for AT guns because. You get a side shot at anything incoming. Whoop. Forceman scout with their snipers. IG-33 still alive, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, now it's becoming a waste of ammo, really. Because uh, these mortars could be shooting around here and do more damage. There's no reason. The enemy wants to stock up here? Let him. Just, just use this area instead. Put some smoke here and, and move in the open. There's a lot of solution to do uh, on this map. More artillery was called in. These howitzers are being shot at. Um, I think the solution would be uh, to concentrate fire on these guys. They seem to be quite the problem. Okay. Another IG-33 around here. Lots of them we're seeing in this game. Another 105 mil. They're they're so useful right now. I don't blame them for wanting more. All right, we haven't seen lots of tanks action, but here comes some uh, 105 plus M4A1. Uh, 105 would be able to take care of a anti-tank gun. I believe the anti-tank gun would shoot at the M4A1 first rather the, than the 108. Forceman leader coming in with their bazooka and smoke. Sherman advancing. There's a Sherman leader as well. There you go. Paris will be winning at close range. They have everything they need for the uh, lead. Their tree stand for the AB Paris is what makes them go boom. All right. 
Back 38 against the M4. Yeah, he does wet. He saw that right away. He moved back. Really good decision. Why is he coming back to it though? I don't know. It's a dangerous game. He's playing very dangerous. He's, he's got, oh my god, bailed out. He has infantry here. Oh my god, and he had the... Why would you put your tank when you have bombers coming in? Oh man. He's still alive, but... I mean, the tank is still there. Um, he could be bringing a uh, supply truck. Uh, he's got one. No, he doesn't. But he does have cheap supplies. 20 points to bring back your leader tank alive. Would be a good investment. These guys are uh, still alive, even though being shot at by the mortars constantly. Pedro Grenadier Führer coming in to upgrade those pioneers with a 231. 231 would be have to be careful there is a bazooka around here over here in the south nothing happened really a couple of uh, moves were tried by the blue side but it looks like they died in vain by the six pounder six pounder will now start shooting at that stug and there you go side shot kills it instantly Good moves for the red player he needs a little flamer here or something just to make sure he holds the holds the flag Put some pressure as well on the blue player. Uh, machine gun here will start killing that Pentagon Adir. Chasseur Para will die most likely. There you go. He dies. And now the Pentagon Adir is pinned down. Forceman Bar. One star. 10 M1 Gara. Two Browning Automatic Rifle. One Bazooka. Only five points more than a Pentagon <laughs> And they do two damage with the Bazooka. Ah, it doesn't make sense. And their Commando as well. So, um... They're highly trained and lavishly equipped. These troops are usually employed during raids, risky assault. So they gain not only the raider trait, but also the shock trait, as well as taking less suppression during combat. Five points more than the Panzer Grenadier. Keep that in mind. I think... I don't know. I think maybe they should be 40 points, but 40 points is starting to push it. It's, it's a fine balance. And um, maybe if the devs would put points you know like maybe they could be 35 or 30 36.5 or maybe 37 points you know uh instead of just going by by counts of, of five because they are definitely better than the panzer grenadier their bar automatic rifle does uh, i think the same damage i'm not uh yeah they do the same damage uh the same suppression than the MG42, but the MG34 does two more suppression each, so that's 44. Uh, but still, it's the same point. It's the same amount here, 30 points. <coughs> you know, it, it could be that they're looking at it at a bigger scale. They're not comparing... A Panzer Grenadier with a Forceman. They might be comparing, you know, the Allies get a lot of cheap stuff available to them. So they're able to... Uh, actually, it wouldn't make sense because the bar rifle is cheaper. So the Allies get cheaper, stronger infantry. They get cheaper tanks. And the Germans have expensive, less strong infantry with more expensive tanks you know 85 points for a stug 4 70 points for m4 a1 the m4 a1 is able to kill a stug 4 although you know from closer range whereas the stug 4 can use is long range at a long range the sherman will never kill that stug 4 so there's that you know to take into consideration i don't know why i focus on that today um it's really not my place to say i'm just a player i'm just a caster i just sometimes think the more they produce these DLCs, the more divisions come back either toxic, overpowered, things like that. And, um, yeah, I think the Forceman should be at. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Jaris, uh, Joris Bonson actually using his Panzer Grenadier. Oh, they will all die now. Ouch. Okay. Two of them died. The leader died from something else. These guys are falling back. 
The Flag 36 by itself, not a, not even able to stop these uh, B25. Um, there's two Flag 36. You need to hub vet these guys. Uh, you do have leaders. Whenever you have leaders on the ground, focus on the support weapon, I would say. That's what I would do. I, I And that's what I do, actually. I, I often focus on getting my AA pieces up vetted before I do with the infantry. Because 3 star, no star... A 1k bombs that hits you will most likely kill you. So you gotta take that into consideration. Flight 36 being... Oh boy, it's dead. Yep, 16-8 for... Yeoman Zero. And we are on a... Maverick income. And so now... Um, they just entered phase C. So they will be an income uh, difference. But two minutes to try to get back to it. Not gonna cut it. This was never used. He used a lot of points here to hold, uh, but too much. I think just uh, one machine gun or whatever, just one infantry. You know, uh, there was never a push around here. This, These are offensive weapon. They're made to support your unit pushing. Um, they're not made to really defend. In my opinion, of course, what I say is always just my opinion. Bow fighters, 140 points. They're best 80 planes in the game they will shoot even if they lose line of sight which is extremely useful because the enemy will have to get out of dodge and he'll have to get further away than just you know hiding in that little house because that bullfighter will shoot and it will destroy they have they're really strong really expensive though but they are worth it you get two cards i think in the first uh, airborne i'm not sure Uh, more Pentagon and they're coming in here, but the game is over. These guys finally died to the Mortars. There's two Pack 40 holding the line, not gonna cut it. Let's cut to the end. Uh, guy is going to surrender. Actually, he'll wait till the end. And there you go, major victory for Yeoman Siro, Joris Bonson. 500 games in him. I mean, he's far far from a noob. He is playing like one, though. I don't want to be harsh. Joris Bunsen, if you see that, please apply for my clan. We will train you up. Ciro has been trained by the Kingdom of the Noobs and is now better player for it. I imagine. I imagine. Um, yeah, by 500 game, you should start getting better now. You shouldn't put... Um, Pack 40s like that on the on their own. You should retreat them. If there's if there's no more infantry to support your support units, retreat them. There's no points leaving them there and getting them killed. There's absolutely no point doing that. Demolition groups were very useful in the early phase. Chassar para as well. AB paras as well. Um, everyone had something to do. Six pounder took care of the Stug 4. Uh, M4A1 took some support unit. Forceman bar, very useful. Glider rifle, very useful. Um, everyone was used pretty well. The losses here. IG-33, eh, well, I mean, it did kill two units, but, you know, they, they should have done more. Uh, Stuk-4, very useful. Pack 38 very useful. That was at the end there in the push, though. Um, so I'm sure... CO was not playing to his full potential. We all do that. We just... Well, actually, I do. When it's about uh, two, three minutes to winning, I'll, I'll sometime I'll just send... I'll take everything and I'll queue move forward as, like, my big push. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this division overview. Um, just what they can do in battle, uh, basically. So uh, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at a, another one of these divisions. If you like that content, please subscribe, subscribe and like the video. Don't hesitate to talk in the comments. If you want to join my clan, you can. And so just, just express it and we will send you a Discord link. Thanks everyone again. Have a great day. Goodbye.